top of the news at 5.30, university police are looking for the suspect who tried to sexually assault a student at Buffalo State College. News 4's Lori Schultz is live tonight with the latest on this. Lori. Well, Jackie, the alleged incident happened last night, and late this afternoon, university police released a composite sketch of the suspect who really threatened this community. Weekend plans don't seem to be the top priority of students on the Buffalo State College campus who expressed more concern about safety. It's kind of scary, I mean, just to think that you can't even be safe on campus. An attempted sexual assault along this less traveled sidewalk near the library has shaken the sense of security. I'm thinking about going out and getting pepper spray. A female student told university police that a man tried to sexually assault her while she was walking to the library at around 845 Thursday night. Chief Peter Carey told me she fought off her attacker. That a uh, suspect came up from behind her and grabbed her backpack and spun her around and then uh, slapped her in the head and then uh, was trying to grab the private parts of her body. How did she fight him off? Just physically kicking and uh, pushing. Police say the woman got a good look at her attacker, described as a white male with short brown hair, approximately 30 years old, with possible scarring from acne on his face. Our belief at this point is that the, the suspect is not a student. Students on other area campuses are also being made aware of what happened here. There's concern the suspect might strike elsewhere. The victim suffered minor injuries. Her classmates commended her for fighting back and alerting police. I think that's great. I think I would have did the same thing. I think um, in any situation like that, you shouldn't show fear to someone who's attacking you. Increased patrols are now highly visible on campus. Students are being advised to walk in groups and be aware of those blue light phone locations. Whether you're at home or on a college campus, you should be feel free and feel reasonably safe to walk about and do your life and do your business. Well, tonight, university police continue to investigate, and they say this case is somewhat unusual because in similar cases, most of the time the victim is, doesn't even know her or knows the attacker, and in this case, she didn't at all. I'll